Okay, so let's go through the uh, next thing you may want to do. Let's say you would go to a specific frame, like like for example here, and you're not exactly sure about how that uh, lens flare is looking. You kind of like it, but you want to get some feedback on it. Uh, you can just go ahead and email that, and uh, what you can do is you can go to File, Email screen is JPEG, and it basically will open whatever your mail package is and make a uh, just set an uh, a uh, screen capture of what's on the PD player screen and just go ahead and email that and it's just ready to go. Very, very, very straightforward. You don't have to worry about compositing and everything else. Done. Good to go. Good to capture. Really, really useful to have the ability to do that very, very quickly. Um, so that's a good kind of concept of what's possible of doing. Let's talk about some other interactive abilities that you have in PD Player and this is where you start to get a little more interesting is the fact that uh, again it is all brought up in layers so you have your A layer, your B layer. Let's go to our, our our menus on the side here. This actually is more revealing as to what is actually possible under the hood. If you look at this menu on the side we've, we've sort of gone over the fact that it has uh, different sort of blend modes uh, but it actually has some interesting things, for example, in terms of color. You can go in here and it can expose up and down, so you can actually look at some exposure uh, concepts. You can do some gamma concepts, uh, as well as uh, some general lift, and etc. that's going on. You can even break that down into different RGB levels, so you want more magenta in there, etc. All of that is interesting to sort of bring out. Um, and you can go ahead and reset any of that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this and bring it back to where it was. Uh, but you basically have color ability to do some, some color look development as well. Now, let's talk about notation. Uh, notice that basically when I was doing this, uh, um, I was actually, uh, sorry, actually before we go to notation, let's go ahead and talk about layers again. Uh, when I was doing this adjustment I was only affecting uh, the um, um, the top layer uh, which is the uh, uh, the uh, the satellite here. So what if I want to affect uh, both the layers? I can go in here and actually have a uh, new adjustment layer. If I bring up the adjustment layer it actually affects the planet and a satellite at the same time. So I can actually have this adjustment layer that affects both of them, which is actually very useful to have because you can basically say, mm, you know, the whole thing needs to be dark and you can make this adjustment layer on top of there. Uh, and that is again treated as just a layer and I can just hit control delete and just delete that adjustment layer. Or I can just go ahead and let's bring another one back in here, uh, new adjustment layer. I'm going to expose the whole clip up a little bit. Or, or, or a lot, and I can turn it off and on, and I can just look at different options. So I can say, mm, is that the look you're looking for? Or, for example, new adjustment layer, or is this what you're looking for? And bring that down. So I can bring that up, bring that down, uh, and turn them off and on individually. Uh, this little eye obviously is where you would turn things off and on. Uh, and then you can go ahead and, and delete those layers if you wanted to. Another thing you can do is you can talk about the lens layer and, and if someone, for example, could not catch on that you're talking about this lens uh, flare going on in these um, uh, panels, you may actually bring up something called an, a, a brush layer. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in that brush layer and I'm going to say, uh, when I bring in that brush layer, you see you've got a new layer here called brush and you can go ahead and draw an area of that nature and you can turn that off and on and that comes in as a nice little layer as well. Um, and that brush you can see if you actually go here you have different options with that as well. So um, I can, once I'm in the brush layer I can um, I can actually control the size and the opacity of that layer, uh, the, the softness of that layer. So there's basically size and softness and I can control that in a number of ways. I can actually just click in here and control the size uh, and up and down it controls the softness uh, size this way and softness this way or I can control it here. Either way I, I can do different things. I can also control the color by doing whatever I want to do here and I can go ahead and uh, affect different areas of what I'm doing. Again this is a layer just turn it off and on. And the problem is that that layer is affecting the whole thing, which is just fine for me for this specific thing. 
Or what I can also do is I can do another type of brush layer, which is basically a brush sequence layer that adds notes or whatever you want to do on a per frame basis. So you keep each each brush is sort of saved as a different frame. Uh, again, another very useful tool to uh, to work with. Uh, so now you basically have your ability to see your do your just uh, your your brushes, etc., and all of that uh, built in. A problem is once you've done all of these different things, you you may want to start saving your work. Good thing is I can do that. So I can go in here and I can go uh, save composite as, and I'm going to go ahead and save this as, uh, for example, sat work um, via one. Oh, that's what my problem is. I have my uh, num lock on. It uh, doesn't really matter. And then basically, uh, once I've done that, uh, let's go ahead and just delete that and uh, start up another, uh, or, or just load that um, that composite in. And you'll notice that basically it just loaded all of the information. So you can you can continue to save it. I have to reload all the frames, but uh, the work that I've done is saved, uh, which is kind of a nice thing to do. So I can just save the work that I've done in PD Player and sort of continue to show that. And that includes any adjustments that I've done, etc. Uh, very useful, very good to have, and I can basically go ahead and just remember and work with uh, what I have. All right, so let's go talk about some more uh, interesting and advanced uh, things you can do in terms of presentations. Here's a, a really cool little feature that I like to talk about in terms of PD Player, and that is um, uh, the way that it can actually broadcast over HTTP. Uh, it's 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 kind of an interesting thing, and and uh, the way that it works is basically very straightforward. It shows uh, it makes a little basically turns your whole computer into a, 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 a little web server uh, in, a, in a very basic way of looking at it but what it does is it'll take whatever you're you're, you're presenting here and uh, and pr uh, broadcast that uh, to uh, to an HTTP server so if you go over to this little button here what you'll do is you'll see that as you as you toggle over it I can turn it off and on, and it basically that's off and that's on. And as you turn it on, you basically see uh, a web address written down, which is your IP address and a port number. Uh, so you can help broadcast this more openly if you wanted to by uh, uh, configuring your firewall to do it. But I'm going to basically look at uh, that IP address uh, internally here. So if I'm going to this frame and I have this showing up, I've actually gone ahead and entered. Uh, that frame number here, and I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, have it on now, uh, and that shows a web page which has PD Player written here and shows what's written. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a different frame. Um, it's got to load that sequence, and then I'll go here and it'll show that it updated it. It is not repeat this is not showing this in real time it's basically what it does is you'll you'll see the little hourglass going as I, as my mouse is here it updates it every couple of seconds or so uh, to be able to show to broadcast what's on PD player um, I can go to any point here and it'll start to update that as it's going through uh, I can go ahead and have, talk about my exposure or my color and I want to talk about this specific uh, layer here being exposed up and it will basically update that in over here so I can talk about different things and uh, have this presentation all sort of broadcasted uh, which is a very useful thing of doing as well uh, and something that's kind of a cool little, a little effect that you, that's that's available in PD Player, and so that's something that I wanted to make sure you guys had a, a ability of understanding something uh, a little cool, unique feature that's that's available here.